Before we move on to talk about some of the chemical properties of halogen derivatives, we first need to know how they can be prepared and obtained. Two of the preparation methods have already been covered in previous lectures. Free radical substitution from alkanes, covered in the alkanes lecture, and electrophilic addition of alkenes, covered under alkenes. For a quick recap, alkanes undergo halogenation through free radical substitution in the presence of heat or UV light. This is covered under the alkanes chapter. A mixture of products will be formed as poly substitution and different termination steps will occur. Alkenes can undergo electrophilic addition to form halogenal alkanes with either one or two halogen atoms and the added, depending on the reagent's use. Hydrohalogenation can occur when an alkene and a hydrogen halide is combined at room temperature, resulting in electrophilic addition of a hydrogen atom and a halogen atom across the carbon carbon double bond. The reagent HX can be HCl. HBr or Hi, and has to be dry and gaseous when the condition is room temperature. However, hydrogen halides with weaker hydrogen halide bonds will be more reactive with a faster rate of reaction. Therefore, Hi is most reactive, followed by HBr and HCl. We also need to remember the Markovnikov's rule. So when the alkene is not symmetrical, the hydrogen will be added to the carbon which is already bonded to more hydrogen atoms, and the halogen to the carbon with less hydrogen atoms. Dihalogenation, which is electrophilic addition of two halogens across the C C double bond, can occur when the reagent used is X2 in CCl4, an organic solvent. The, the halogen molecule used can be Cl2 or Br2. The condition we must specify is room temperature and in the dark, to prevent free radical substitution reaction from occurring and contaminating the products.